Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Friday, April 29th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be doing a quick little recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out, talking about my core plays for today on the FanDuel main slate, and then my top GPP stacks from my article over at WeBetATS.com for the FanDuel main slate as well. But without further ado, we'll get started with a recap of yesterday's picks. We start off with Bailey Ober at pitcher at $8,600. Looked like a pretty good matchup for him. Actually was pitching reasonably well. Got 17 points for us yesterday. He was a miss. He ended up getting hurt in this game, which was just rather unfortunate. Maybe if he gets that six innings, we just double this and the 17 goes to 34. Maybe he gets a win and a quality start. And in that case, we'd be talking about a guy that was around 40 points, which would have been a hit. So just kind of unfortunate that he did end up getting hurt yesterday. Then at first base, we have Yuri Gurriel, who was $2,800. Some pretty good history yesterday versus Martin Perez. Unfortunately, he got a big old zero. He was a mess. He was 0 for 4 yesterday. Can't really say too much more about that. Then we have Miguel Rojas at $2,200. Kind of that guy that was a sneaky play yesterday, you know, going against Patrick Corrigan. Got to 9.4 points. He was a hit. He actually got hurt in this game, too. So the fact that we got 9.4 out of him was pretty good. And he was actually the third overall shortstop on the day. So pretty solid day for him overall. Then we had Cedric Mullins in the outfield as well, $3,200. 6.2 points. I gave him a push yesterday. Was not a guy that put us over the top but definitely wasn't a guy that hurt us by any means and then last but not least we had Aaron Judge $3,700 got to 35.4 points he was a hit in the top overall outfielder on the day so a little bit of hit or miss day kind of unfortunate that we did get some injuries there with Bailey Ober and then even Miguel Rojas later on in the game but with that being said we'll get moved over into the core picks for today so a pitcher I'm going to my pay down option in Aaron Savali he has not pitched the greatest so far this season goes against the Oakland A's doesn't really have history against them. This Oakland A's offense is not very scary by any means. Maybe it's a get-right game for them, but maybe it's a get-right game for Aaron Savali. So I kind of like the idea of paying down for him. Maybe we get a quality start out of him and then paying up for some hitting options as well because there are a lot of good pay-up hitter options on tonight's slate. Then we move down to first base with Pete Alonso. Obviously, he was a guy that started off the year pretty hot. A little bit slower as of late, but he goes against Aaron Nola tonight, who he's 10 for 29 with three home runs against. And I believe he hit one of those home runs against him earlier this year. So a pretty good track record there and a guy with a lot of upside that I do love quite a bit tonight. Then we have third baseman Alec Bregman at $3,700 as well. Been all right so far this year, kind of up and down. Not going to say too much there, but he's 6 for 17 with one home run against Kikuchi, who is pitching tonight for the Blue Jays, could be a pretty favorable matchup for him. I think these Astros hitters are going to have a field day with Kikuchi once again. Then we have outfielder Jordan Alvarez, obviously his teammate, $3,500. Kind of similar story to Bregman, but he is 6 for 18 with two home runs versus Kikuchi in his career. So obviously it's pretty good history and probably has a pretty good chance of repeating some of that success tonight. And then last but not least in the outfield, I have Obadel Herrera, who's actually played really well since he's came back from his injury. $2,500, pretty cheap price tag there. He's averaging over 14 points a game. Obviously, it's a very, very small sample size, so he can't take too much from it. But he's also 2 for 3 with one home run versus Tyler McGill, who is pitching for the Mets tonight. So definitely has a ton of upside there for a cheap price tag. And heck, if you go with the five guys that I do have listed here, you'll have $15,400 remaining, just over $3,800 per player. So you can essentially pay up for whoever you want if you go with this core five. If you want to pay up for a different starting pitcher over Aaron Savali, that is fine as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over into my top stacks for today. Kind of mentioned a couple of them already, but we're going to go with the Mets. Obviously, Pete Alonso is somebody that we did mention. They are going against Aaron Nola. The Mets actually have a really good history against Aaron Nola. He's not been quite as good last year as we expected, not quite as good at the beginning of this year as some people probably would expect as well, but the Mets kind of have his number overall. Then the Houston Astros going against Kikuchi and the Blue Jays. Like I mentioned, I got two guys in my core are from the Astros. I think there's a lot of other Astros hitters that could be in play versus Kikuchi tonight as well. And then I have the Colorado Rockies. They're going against Hunter Green tonight, so this could be a hit or miss matchup, but very limited track record there against Hunter Green, so usually that favors the pitcher, but you know, a guy that throws a lot of fastballs. He throws a lot of hard fastballs too, so if he gets hit, he's probably going to give a big contact. Rockies, a team that I would get some interest to, maybe a team that's not getting a lot of ownership on tonight's slate, so that's a little bit way to be different in GPPs. Then last but not least, I have the New York Yankees going against Chris Bubich and the Kansas City Royals. There's a little bit of history there. They've hit him decently well, and then at the same time, Bubich has not pitched well to start this season, so I think the Yankees are a team that we should be attacking on tonight's slate overall. 
But with that being said, these are my core picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, April 29th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on tonight's slate, whether it's somebody that I did mention in my core five or my top GPP stacks or whether it's somebody completely different that you think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, whether it's MLB, NBA, NFL, or USFL. USFL video should be coming out at some point today. Might end up being tomorrow morning, just depending on how quickly I get to that today with some of the research and recording that video overall. But it will definitely be out before the games tomorrow, obviously. And then with that being said, if you're a new or current subscriber is yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.